Hey there, Nick Genetakis here. In this video, I'd like to go over a misconfiguration of my vimrc file as well as my tmux config. So if you've been using my dot files and you happen to be using vim with the mouse, then you may have noticed something happen on a pretty regular basis that was super annoying. And that would be like, let's say you were, you know, done writing a line of code or a paragraph and you would click the mouse somewhere. You know, every once in a while, uh, everything in between where you clicked would just get deleted and you would have to undo that change. And I don't know, this happened to me actually quite often. So if I were writing for, let's say, three or four hours, then this would happen about 15 times. And you know, it wasn't the end of the world, but it was super disruptive. And um, I'm going to be starting to record my next course pretty soon. And like, you know, having that stuff come up in video is like not good at all because it, it adds some like, you know, hardcore editing work that I need to do to fix it. And overall, it's just not a friendly experience to have that happen. So about a week ago, I tried my best to reverse engineer the problem and then come up with a solution. And fortunately, I was able to come up with a solution. But uh, before we get into the fix, let me just demonstrate some default behavior by Vim that uh, is sort of related to the bug. Although I'm, I'm not really gonna classify it as a bug, it was more just me misconfiguring tools because I kind of just copy pasted things off the internet. And uh, yeah, that's always not good. So here we go. So let's say that you just finished writing this paragraph here. Uh, if I'm, I'm in normal mode, by the way, if I hit D and then click like up here, then Vim is going to automatically delete everything between where the cursor was and where I click the mouse after I hit the D key. And uh, this behavior usually is actually pretty nice. And, and this is something that I use every once in a while. So like, let's say I just started writing this uh, interview or whatever. And then, you know, I wrote these couple of paragraphs, you know, typically when I write stuff, I, I like to go back and rewrite it a bit, you know, kind of like how you would refactor code. Like when you rewrite the blog post or something, you know, you improve it the second time over. So sometimes I just want to go, you know what, I'm just going to delete all of that and just start from scratch. And, and doing that workflow of being able to just hit D and then click where I want and have it delete stuff is great. But with the bug, you know, that was happening quite often just naturally using Vim and not wanting to do that. So like after I finished typing a paragraph, I would just click somewhere and it would delete it. And then it's like, ah, I didn't want to delete that. So undo, undo, undo. But uh, yeah, so let's take a look here at the fix. So when I make these videos, uh, they are unscripted, but I do at least always try to make sure I know what I'm talking about <laughs> before I make a video. You know, otherwise, uh, I don't want to give out bad information over the internet. Like, I don't care if I look stupid, if I make a mistake, like, you know, I like making mistakes and because I learn from them. But in this case, this is one of those weird situations where I do not know enough about each of these exact configuration things to explain exactly why the fix works. And uh, maybe there's like a hidden lesson behind this. Like sometimes as a developer, it's not a bad idea just to like tinker with stuff and play with things until you get it to work the way you want. And that's kind of what I did here. So I tried really hard to like reverse engineer um, how the problem was happening in the first place. And, and I narrowed it down to that delete behavior of Vim where, you know, you hit the D key and you click somewhere and it deletes stuff in between. And, you know, I started Googling around like how to disable that behavior. And there really is no disabling that behavior unless like you turn off the mouse completely. But, uh, you know, that's just not for me. So I know there's a whole bunch of like diehard neckbeards out there who, who, you know, they kill people who use the mouse, but I'm a very pragma pragmatic person when it comes to development. Like, you know, I try not to like stick to black and white decisions. Like if the mouse makes me do stuff a little bit faster, I have no problem using it once in a while. I don't care if people do or don't. It's really like, you know, it's your individual workflow. But uh, anyways, I just tried to use some really default uh, I guess you can see debugging skills to figure out what went wrong here. And so I just started going through my vimrc file, my tmux config file, looking for anything related to like timeouts or delays, or in this case, like escape times. And I just started playing with things until it worked. So I had this one AU group here for no insert key codes. Now, I didn't just wake up one day and add this to my vimrc file. Like I wanna say maybe like five months ago or something like that, I added it to my vimrc file and it was related to some type of delay between going in and out of insert mode. So check this out. So here I just hit insert, like I hit the I key on my keyboard and now I'm in insert mode. And let me do it again too. So 
notice how as soon as I hit I, three, two, one, I, uh, the insert label popped up and this background color turned to light blue. So that's something I have in my dot files. I like to have the status bar turn a different color when I go into insert mode. But now check this out. Uh, I'm gonna do a countdown and I'm going to hit escape. And what's going to happen is this insert label is gonna go away immediately, but this background will change to gray, but it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take about a second. So check this out, three, two, one, escape. There it goes, and there it goes. So you can see there's like a one second delay between that uh, label disappearing and this turning colors. And, you know, five months ago, I kind of thought maybe that was like making my Vim commands be lagged, but it seems like it's only related to maybe uh, like a UI element, not so much the behavior of Vim. Because check this out, if I go to insert mode and I just start typing here, I'm going to hit escape and DD as fast as I can, and you'll see it quickly disappear. Like it immediately disappeared as soon as I hit DD. You know, it wasn't like I had to wait a second to be able to uh, run Vim commands after I left insert mode. But you know, back you know four or five six months ago, I didn't know that. So then I you know I was googling around like how to remove like insert delay from Vim, and you know that's where this came from. So I set it to like 50 milliseconds. And uh, again, like I don't even know enough about this option to really understand the mechanics behind of it. At this point, it's kind of like a black box, which scares me a little bit, but um, you know, sometimes things are black boxes. So uh, actually, I messed up this commit here. I really commented this out, so I essentially got rid of it. And in a future commit, I, I did remove the comment. But you know, that's one component of what I did, and that alone did not fix the issue. However, when I went to my tmux config, I set the escape time from zero to 50 milliseconds. And again, like, you know, I didn't just wake up and, and add this to my Tmux config at some point. Um, I, it was like back, you know, five, six months ago, I was just looking to like remove delay. So I'm like, oh, well, escape time, you know, derp, 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 let me set that to zero. And uh, apparently that's not the best idea. People recommend that you set it to a low value, especially if you're working locally, like 20 to 50 milliseconds is pretty good. Again, like I don't know enough about the option otherwise, but I do know when I set both of these things, like when I got rid of this setting and I set this to 50, also this needs to be set to G for newer versions of Tmux. Apparently if you're using Tmux 2.6 and above, that should be dash uh, G instead of dash S. But anyways, when I made both of these changes, that problem went away and I commit this code and push it up to my dot files about nine days ago. And ever since I made that change, and I've been writing a lot, doing a lot of coding, um, doing a lot of writing, I have not accidentally delete anything uh, on accident. So, you know, when I explicitly want to do this workflow where like I want to delete that paragraph, that works fine. But if I'm just like day-to-day -day writing and things like that, um, it's been it's been going great. So I think that is the fix. Now, if you are a Vim wizard and you know exactly why these options together eliminate that quote unquote bug, you know, I would love to hear about that in the comments. Uh, yeah, because I don't know. All I know is it works now and I'm super happy. And I figured since, you know, a decent amount of people follow my dot files here, uh, it would be a good idea to make a video about this change because yeah, I mean, it really went from something that would annoy you on a daily basis to being completely fixed. And now life is good. So on that note, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.